Good morning, grade 10. Uh, we are doing topic 1, set 1.3. Two problems we have already done. And this is the third problem we are doing from set 1.3. Now, the problem says that, as shown in the figure, two poles of height 8 meters and 4 meters are perpendicular to the ground. You can see these are the two poles of 8 and 4 meters height. So, PR is one pole, AC is one pole. Then if the length of the shadow of smaller pole due to sunlight is 6 meters. So if this is a pole and this is the shadow of the pole which is of 6 meters. Then how long will be the shadow of the bigger pole at the same time? Now two words are very important. One is the shadow is because of sunlight. And second is it is at the same time. Now students see remember this is very important to understand over here. If. PR is one pole and AC is one pole. I am showing pole over here. Now here this is a sun. Sun's rays are falling like this and this is the ground. Okay, you can see that this is going to make angle theta. Actually this angle is the angle which is made by sun. Are you understanding? Sun rays with this ground you may say. This is theta angle. Now if this pole is of this height, and now if I take another pole which is of greater height, you see that this angle remains same even though if you consider this big triangle or you consider this small triangle. What I want to tell you is that whether it is a tree or whether it is a pole, if it is making 90 degree angle with the ground and at the same time if, the, if it casts the shadow, then always remember whether there are two poles or whether there are two trees, they will cast the shadow at the same angle. You see this is one pole, this is another pole, but this angle remains same. Because at a time, sun's rays, is, sun rays are going to make same angle everywhere. Are you understanding me at the ground? And this is obviously 90 degree. Poles are always, it is mentioned in the problem that both the poles are perpendicular to the ground. So please remember, and that's why I have shown your theta and theta. This can be a tree, this can be a pole. It is going to cast a shadow like this. If it is because of the sunlight and if it is at the same time, then this angle which is made by the sun rays to this ground, this theta angles remain same everywhere at same time. And therefore, now if you consider these two triangles, triangle PQR and triangle ABC, you can see angle R and angle C, they both are 90 degrees because both the poles are perpendicular to the ground. And I have written angle Q is equal to angle B. Reason is two poles will cast the shadows at the same angle. And therefore, because these two triangles are equal to the other two triangles of that triangle ACB, you can say that triangle PQR and ABC are similar triangles by AA test of similarity. Is it clear? Now once the triangles are similar, sides are in proportion. So we know that AC upon PR will be equal to BC upon QR. Just substitute the values. 8 upon 4 will be equal to X upon 6. And you have X is equal to 8 into 6 upon 4. Now this is 4 1s are and 4 2s are. 6 into 2 becomes 12. Okay. And so the length of the shadow of the bigger pole is 12 meters. It is very useful to understand that this angle made by both the poles will be same whether they are two trees, whether they are three poles, four poles but the condition is that the shadow should be because of sun and at the same time. Okay. So that was very easy I think once you understand the concept. Let's go for the next problem. Let's go to the fourth problem. It is very easy. Two things we have to do. First is we have to prove that triangle CPA. Can you see triangle CPA? Okay. So C, P and A. So this triangle and triangle CQB. C, Q, B. So these two triangles we have to show them as or we have to prove that both of them are similar. And second we have to find AC. Now let's go to the proof. You can see in both these two triangles, 
this perpendicular sign you can see so angle q over here and angle p over here both are of 90 degrees each major is 90 and we know that angles with equal majors are congruent so first step i have written cpa angle is congruent to angle cqb because each major is 90 90 degrees and second is angle C is common to both the triangles. This triangle also and this triangle also. C is common angle. So angle ACP is congruent to angle CQB. Each angle is congruent to itself. That is common angle. So if two angles are congruent, we know that triangle CPA is similar to triangle CQB. This is from both the steps we came to know that two triangles are congruent. And which test we are using? AA test of similarity. Now, once the triangles are similar, we know that sides are in same proportion. So, we can write AP upon BQ. See, AP, this is perpendicular. Other triangles perpendicular is BQ. So, AP upon BQ will be equal to AC upon BC. Okay? So, AC is opposite to P. Alright? And BC is opposite to Q. Angle Q, I am saying. Opposite to angle P is AC and opposite to angle Q is BC. So, you know that AP upon BQ is equal to AC upon BC. Okay? Now, substitute the values which they have given. AP is given as say 7, you can see in the diagram. Then BQ is given as 8, that also I have marked, which is equal to X upon 12. Solve this, you will get X as 21 upon 2. Half of 21 is 10.5 and AC you get as 10.5. This was very easy. Let's quickly go to the fifth problem as well. This is your fifth problem, students. Now see, they have already given P, Q, R, S is trapezium and P, Q side is parallel to SR. And we have to prove that one more thing they have given. This is P, A and this is A, R. AR is given as 5 times of PA. Similarly, SA is given as 5 times of AQ. A to Q is this. And we have to prove that this RS or SR is equal to 5 times of PQ. It's very easy. Just see. Now, if these two sides are parallel and if we consider QS as transversal, then can you see this Z formation? Okay. That means angle P. QS, this angle, will be equal to angle QSR because these two are alternate angles, okay? And these two lines are already given as parallel. So, if lines are parallel, alternate angles are congruent. So, I have written here PQS, PQS is congruent to QSR. But see now, PQS is same as PQA, only this is extended up till AS. Otherwise, this angle remains same. Because we have property of S dash A dash Q or Q dash A dash S. This lie on the same line. And therefore angle P Q A is similar to angle P Q S. So I have written here P Q S is similar to P Q A. Therefore P Q A becomes congruent to Q S R is equal to A S R. See Q S R is same as A S R. Ah, this is the angle. Only this is once extended over here and other it is extended little more. But, the, but this ray remains the same. Alright. So these two we have seen. Now consider this first triangle and second triangle. Which is first triangle? It is PQA. This upper triangle small. And below you consider the bigger triangle that is ASR. In this we already know that angle S over here is equal to angle Q. We have just proved it from first. So, Q is equal to S. And second, this angle A, P, A, Q and S, A, R. These two are vertically opposite angles. And we know that vertically opposite angles are always congruent. So, these two angles and these two angles, that means two angles of both the triangles are exactly congruent. And therefore, these two triangles become similar by A, A test of similarity. You please pause the video and write down all the steps. Now, once we have proved that these two triangles are congruent, we know that sides will be in proportion. So, if I consider PQ upon QR. PQ upon PQ upon SR. Sorry. PQ is opposite to this angle A. 
So opposite to this angle A will be SR. So we have PQ upon SR is equal to AP upon AR. See AP is over here and AR is over here. AP is opposite to angle Q and therefore here angle Q is equal to S. Opposite to S will be AR. So if triangles are similar then corresponding sides are always in proportion. So you have to write the reason over here. What is the reason for this? Because corresponding sides of similar triangle are in same proportion and therefore we have written PQ upon SR is equal to AP upon ER. But initially what we have seen AR is 5 times of AP. So for AR I am writing 5 times of AP. So we get PQ upon SR is AP upon 5 times AP. AP AP get cancelled. And what we have? PQ upon SR is equal to 1 upon 5. You just cross multiply. We get 5 times PQ is 1 time SR. And that is what we have to prove. SR is equal to 5 PQ. It's very easy. It is just that you prove that two triangles are similar. And then write the uh, sides which are in proportion. That's all. Okay. So three problems we have solved. I think that's all from my side today. Thank you.